Okay, so we have here again our app component. We have our app counter component here, which sits inside our app root component. And again, as you can see here, we leverage some kind of immutable data structure and we use the on push change detection to basically optimize our change detection strategy here for Angular. So again, we want to leverage here this immutable kind of data structure, but rather than passing in the data directly, we want to pass in an observable this time. And for this purpose, what we have to do here is we import the behavior subject from rxjs behavior subject, and we instantiate here basically a new instance. And when we also immediately pass it here our initial value, which is counter equals to zero. Next, we need to basically here adapt here this increment function uh, with this dot data, and we invoke it next which emits a new value. And again, we emit our counter object and we have to increment here our previous value. Let's use a local property here to trace the values. And obviously here we have to pass in our behavior subject. Great, so far so good. Let's switch over to our counter component. And now here obviously we get in a behavior subject. Let's import here an observable and this is here of type observable let's use any for this simple example here here we want to display a private property let's call it data you will immediately see here why we do that and now obviously we have to subscribe to that input stream because now we don't get any more the data which we can directly visualize, but we get here a stream which is an observable, a stream of data which we can then visualize. So we need to register that one. We do this dot data dot subscribe. Here we get the values in. And whenever a value comes in here, we say this dot data equals value. So this will be then visualized here in our component. Now let's check. Strange enough, however, this doesn't work. So why does this happen? Now the problem is quite simple. If you pay attention here, what we pass in here is our behavior subject. And we create here a new instance of the behavior subject. And here we basically invoke a function of the behavior subject, which is the next function for emitting new values. Now if you go inside our counter component, we have still activated here the on push strategy. So basically our input never changes, so the reference never changes. Okay, and since that observable will never change its reference because it's rather like an open data pipe which continuously streams values inside here, we have to have a way to here tell Angular manually, so the change detection mechanism of Angular manually to update this tree, to update this kind of subtree and perform change detection. And a really powerful way here is that we can import a change detector ref, which is here, this class here. And obviously we can, again, use the dependence injection to get a reference to it. And then here below we can say this.changeDetector.mark for check. And now basically we tell manually the change detector, now refresh and perform change detection for the subtree of this counter component. And again, if we click now, it works.